Um, can you explain to us tonight um, what was meant by, for example, the insurance policy text message? So this is you and Peter Strzok texting about the prospect that President Trump is going to be elected, the unlikely prospect. Right. I mean, it's an analogy. First of all, it's not my text, so I'm sort of interpreting what I believe he meant back three years ago. But we're using an analogy. We're talking about whether or not we should take certain investigative steps or not based on the likelihood that he's going to be president or not, right? You have to keep in mind, if President Trump doesn't become president, the national security risk, if there is somebody in his campaign associated with Russia, plummets. You're not so worried about what Russia's doing vis-a-vis -a, -vis a member of his campaign if he's not president, because you're not going to have access to classified information. You're not going to have access to sources and methods in our national security apparatus. So. The insurance policy was an analogy. It's like an insurance policy when you're 40. You don't expect to die when you're 40, yet you still have an insurance policy. So don't just hope that he's not going to be elected and therefore not press forward at the investigation hoping, but rather press forward at the investigation just in case he does get in there. Exactly. What about the text message that, uh, in which you and Strzok were talking about your uh, sort of fear that Trump, Trump would be elected and he said, no, we won't let it happen? I mean. By we, he's talking about the collective we, like-minded, thoughtful, sensible people who were not going to vote this person into office. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, in retrospect, do I wish he hadn't sent it? Yes. It's been mutilated to death, and it's been used to bludgeon an institution I love, and it's meant that I've disappointed countless people. But this is a, this is a snapshot in time, carrying on a conversation that had happened earlier in the day that reflected a broad sense of he's not going to be president. We, the democratic people of this country, are not going to let it happen.